Well, I have two little pieces of silver sheet here. One's got holes in, one hasn't. The one that hasn't is going to be the backing sheet, the one with the holes. I'm going to simply just going to solder those together. Now, the best method of soldering this one would be to get the front piece that is decorative that has the holes in and flood the solder onto the back of that one. Put the two together and solder them together that way. You can control the amount of solder that goes onto the job and you know you're not going to fill in all the little detail that you've put into the front piece as well. You can limit the amount of solder that goes onto it. So with these two sheets, we first of all have to make sure they do look very clean, but again, I've touched them, they're going to be greasy. So you have to make sure that when the two pieces go together, that they are absolutely parallel with each other. There are no high spots, there are no low spots, and they meet in a perfect join all the way around. So you make sure that the so you make sure that the one piece is completely emeryed and flat like that. And we'll get our other piece and make sure that is also flat. Oops, Daisy. Make sure that is also flat. And again, free from grease. Like that. The surface now needs to be coated with some flux. I'll be using borax for this, like that. Then we shall paint a coating of borax over the one piece. You just paint the borax over the whole surface. And you can tell if the surface is clean or not. This surface is lovely and clean, and the borax spreads nice and easily all over. If there was traces of grease, the borax wouldn't take to it. Like that. I'm only going to be using some easy solder on this, but if you had some other joints that you wanted to put near this joint, perhaps you would use a, a higher melting point solder, perhaps hard or, or medium. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to use easy. We're going to make sure that the solder again is nice and clean. We'll cut some larger pieces of solder this time. I lost that in my tray. And we'll cut, uh, we always cut a few more, it doesn't matter. And the idea is we're going to put this onto the piece, heat up the piece and the solder will melt across the whole face of it. So we have a little pile of solders there. And we're going to put that now onto the front piece. Like that. We light up the torch. We won't use a very, very hot flame, is it? The the area that we're heating up is quite a large one. Turn off our light. Uh, let's just move that one piece out of the way. And we're gently going to heat this piece up now. And the idea is, warm the piece up slowly, otherwise the borax is going to bubble up too much. So, there we go, everything's in place, all the water's evaporated and we're going to heat this nice and slowly. And the idea is to bring the whole piece up to temperature at the same time and the solder the flow. And as the solder flows, the solder will always flow towards the hottest part and we can tease the solder around the whole piece to make sure that piece has a completely even covering of solder. But the solder's just going to start to flow now. If you see it, see it melt in there. Right, in this instance I'm just going to use the back of the tweezers whilst the solder is molten. Tease it across into other places where the solder hasn't gone. And 
you don't want to use your tweezers, always use a soldering pick as well. As you can see now, the back of this of the front piece has a lovely, lovely, even covering of solder. Like that. So that piece is a, a coating of solder now across the whole face of it. And also what I'm going to do at this stage is, again, clean the front again. I know we've just soldered it, I know there's borax on it, but I want to make sure that, again, I've touched it, there's dirt and grease onto this. And clean it up again. Again, making sure it's flat, emery paper, over the piece like that and now there's a lovely thin very thin covering layer of solder onto that on the piece we want to solder that top piece too we'll paint some borax onto that I think we'll put a little bit onto that top piece as well Then we'll sandwich the two together, like that. So to get the heat evenly around the piece, I've got two old burrs here that I'm going to rest my sandwich pieces on. And that allows me to get the heat underneath as well. Some people use a soldering wig, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't have one of those, so I'm improvising. To get the heat underneath, we're going to raise it off the block itself. Right, it's coming into temperature now. You can see the colour of the metal is just starting to change. I can just see on the edge now that solder is just starting to flow. around a bit make sure that there's a nice seam of solder across the hole across each edge don't forget the solder will always flow to the heat the hottest part and also if you look down into the holes here we can see the solder has just run around each hole as well So if the piece calls for it, and the edge will have to be even. I'll file it. And once the piece has been polished, there should be no join visible. As you can see on this little section I've done here, that's an absolute perfect solder. And if you take the necessary steps and precautions and make sure everything is spotlessly clean, no acid, no dirt, no polish on the joints, you will have a perfect solder joint. <laughs>